How did that become the goal about Hans? Well, so um, remember how I told you how I was a piano performance major at yes. Berkeley? Mm -hmm. So there's a little story you want me to tell you? Please. Oh, we love stories. So um, let's see. This would be 98 fall. I had just started Berkeley. I'm a piano performance major. I'm miserable because I, I love writing and I don't want to be in front of people. Um, so one day I left the piano practice rooms late at night, went to Tower Records, which is no longer there. R.I.P. Newberry Street. So on Mass F. On Mass F. Yeah. As I was saying, it was a quiz and you got it right. Yeah. That's right. That's what it was. <laughs> um, and it was like, we passed 11 at night and Prince of Egypt had just come out. And, you know, this is before the days of YouTubes and all that stuff. So the new soundtrack comes out. You go to listening booths and you listen. And at least that's what I used to do. Oh, the listening booths. I forgot about those. Yeah. Those were great. I'm totally aging myself. Um, yeah. And then um, I'm listening. And a little side note, I was broke. I had to work three jobs on campus. Yeah. So I started listening to that soundtrack and I couldn't put it down. And they were going to close it, the store. And I bought the soundtrack with my last money. I had $20 left to my name. I had to survive on for three days. Um, and I bought the soundtrack, went to my place and listened to it overnight. And that next morning, and I, that was that one decision. I said, I'd rather fail doing something I love than succeed doing something that makes me miserable. Yeah. And I still have that soundtrack Whew. next to my keyboard. Um, Did Hans sign it? He didn't. I should have had him sign it. I told him the story. I think he, there's still time. Yeah. But um, it's there. It's, I have not written a single note of music without that CD next to my keyboard in the last 21 years. 